get back into some improv here. Uh, let's see, I need, to, I need somebody to give me a topic uh, for an expert to be an expert at. Um, if we were going to interview an expert at a certain topic, what would they be an expert at? Yeah. But nuclear physics, perfect. That would be great. Right. That would be, be awesome. Uh, all right, we'd like to thank everybody out there for tuning into our podcast this evening. We've got a lot of listeners I know that are very excited about tonight. We've got a special guest with us. Jeremy, thank you for being here. Uh, it's a pleasure. You, uh, you're, a, you're a nuclear physicist. That is correct. And you've been doing this for how long? Uh, I've been doing this for about uh, uh, as long as I can remember, really. Is that like since, yeah. since this child? Since, since a very young age, I was, I was very... Uh, prone to just do nuclear physics with my building blocks. <laughs> <laughs> that is very that'd be exciting for your parents. Yes. And so then as you uh, grew older, you started writing books at a very young age also, oh, yes, right? Yes, 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 I did. How old were you when you wrote your first uh, book? I, I, I was about one and a half. <laughs> <laughs> if you wrote a book? Well, my vocabulary was very limited, uh, right. but it, it, was, it, was still, it was still very ahead of my time. And that was a generic book, or that one was about nuclear physics? That one was about nuclear physics. Okay. It was just called Things Go Boom. <laughs> because, like, you know, things, uh, I was very young. Yeah, limited knowledge yeah. at that point. But now you're like a world-renowned expert on the topic. Yes. And we're so fortunate to have you with us. Our phone lines are lighting up there, and people who have questions for you oh, about your business. Can we take the call? Please. All right. Uh, first caller, can you tell us who you are and where you're from, please? Hi, my name's Courtney. I'm from Tuvisigalpa, Honduras. <laughs> Courtney, thank you so much for calling in. How are you? Hello. Yeah, I'm doing really well. I have a question. Yeah, uh, nobody here familiar with Jeremy's work? Oh, Jeremy, you're so cute. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay, what's your question, Courtney? Well, my question is, uh, I am ministering to uh, the poor in Honduras, and I really want to integrate nuclear physics into that. In this, into the, the educational program? In, in teaching, in really just activities with the kids, I really want to personalize. Uh, what's the best way to help them understand nuclear physics? This is a great question, because you started out at a young age. Yes, yes. What uh, kind of activities are there in nuclear physics? Well, I don't know about you, Jeremy. I was on the honor roll um, um, in school, so I mean, I do have that basis of understanding. I sense yeah. that just hearing your voice, I sense that you were very smart. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So you're looking to have, have nuclear physics relate to children, is that correct? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, well, what you're, what you're going to need to do is, is have, like, first start off with, like, a little coloring book. There can be, like, a, you know, like a, you know, a big bomb, you know, or something like that. They can color that in, you know, that kind of thing. Then we can move on to, you know. Can they come in different colors? You wouldn't know. I, 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 it's, it's it, you know, it's a choice. You can have the purple, you can have, you know, all sorts of colors. It's fun. It's fun. We make it fun okay. for the kids. Sure. And, uh, and, then, and then you can move on to things uh, where you can, you know, have them start tinkering with some particles. Uh, you know, really exciting stuff. Is there any danger involved in any of these activities? Only if you do it wrong. Okay. <laughs> Maybe bring in a world-renowned expert to yeah. help out. Who knows? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot for calling in, Courtney. Good luck with that. Uh, all right, next caller, can you tell us who you are and where you're from, please? Hi, yes, my name's Savannah. I'm from Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Savannah. Good to hear from you. Yeah, so here's the problem. I've been uh, trying to cook up a, a nuclear stew. <laughs> and for, I'm having a lot of people over this weekend. There. People you like or people you dislike? <laughs> oh, I love them all. Okay, great. And and I saw it on Pinterest, but <laughs> but I, I lost the recipe, Jeremy. I'm sure you've heard of it. Can you help me with the ingredients on how to make a nuclear stew? One of your books is yes, a it's a nuclear cookbook. Yes, yes. 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 Uh, it's it's very uh, very very bestseller, uh, very high up on the charts. What's the title of your cookbook that has physics? Recipes in it. Uh, well, that one, that one I, I, is called uh, uranium and you. <laughs> <laughs> is uranium edible? Uh, if you cook it right, you don't want to overdo it. I don't think not. Then it's not edible. All right. So if you have any advice for Savannah with her nuclear stew, right? What you're gonna need is some. Uh, so you need some argon. That's important. Uh, to pepper that in there. Right. Uh, you also need some unobtainium. That's an important one too. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, that'll give it that glow that you're looking for from the stew. 
It's all about the presentation. Yes, the presentation right. is, uh, is, is very important because it doesn't taste very good. Right. <laughs> good luck to you, Savannah. Please be very careful. Safety first, as we like to say in the yes. nuclear physics world. That's right. Uh, next caller, can you tell us who you are and where you're from, please? Hi, my name is Susan, and I like to my mommy and my daddy. Susan? S Susan. Yeah. Uh, Susan. Susan, thank you for calling. Uh, Susan, T H U T H I N, Susan. <laughs> your, your name is Fuva. Susan. <laughs> okay. Very nice to meet you, Fuva. What can I help you with? Uh, so, uh, here's the problem. Jeremy, are you a nuclear physicist? Yes. yes Does your it. mommy know you're on the phone? No, I have to be really quiet. <laughs> Phone in case I talk to weird guys. Well, guys, yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. Here's my question. Um, I think I I looked in the mirror and I think I have a nucleus on me. You have you have a nucleus on you? I don't know how to get it on. Okay. You have a nuclear? <laughs> That's bad, right? Yeah, I, I would assume so. I've never really encountered one of these. Wow. Is there anybody else in the house with you right now, Boobin? Uh, uh, I think my dad's in the basement, and I think my mommy went shopping. <laughs> she left the house and left you there. Yeah. Uh, how old are you? 26. <laughs> <laughs> I would think you ought to be able to help yourself with this one. Right. Uh, yeah. Just wipe it off. <laughs> oh. Be careful, though, while you do that. All right, good luck, Boomin. <laughs> Hope that works out for you. Let's hear it from Jeremy, everybody. Our nuclear physics expert. Very nicely done. I, you knew a lot more about it than I would have. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I was pulled that up pretty well. Who's uh, a good nuclear physicist? I, I'm a good nuclear physicist. <laughs> All right, Mike, you, uh, you kind of missed part of the show. Yeah. Oh, no, I heard that they were doing nuclear physics. I ran. Yeah, I didn't cross that. Cool.